Hippolyte Bayard's first hoax photo. When a determined amateur inventor named Bayard found a way to accomplish his lifetime goal, he got pushed aside by an influential individual and lost his cause. So what would he do next? Would he be able to get through it? We'll see that at the end of this video. But before that, let's unwind time and look back at where it all began. Well, for centuries, many individuals knew how to create an image with light, but they didn't know how to permanently get it fixed onto a surface. So that's the lifetime goal of a man named Bayard. He was an artist, a gardener, and a sort of inventor. For his cause, he didn't hesitate to spend most of his free time experimenting with photography until one day he finally got what he was looking for. With that, Bayard could soon claim that he invented printed photography, yet that did not happen. But how come? Meanwhile, Louis Daguerre became known for his popular interactive art shows called Dioramas. But just like Bayard, he also had the same ambition of fixing an image to a surface and which soon had his own breakthrough and successfully fixed an image to a metal plate, and a garotype started to come by. But despite that, he only showed his work to a few influential individuals. While on the other hand, Bayard was eager to share his discovery with the public. Bayard's photographs often had the theme where he would arrange gardening tools, still life sculptures, and vases in his garden. Of course, he would sometimes include himself with his eyes closed, or the scenes took long to be processed. Soon, Bayard held a photo exhibition, becoming the first ever photographer to show his work in public. And that's where Francois Arago steps in, an influential politician and the chair of the Academy of Sciences. So when Arago saw Bayard's successful prints, he immediately persuaded him to hold off on announcing the details of his discovery until Daggery would finish first. Eventually, standing before the Academy of Sciences along with Daggery, Arago unveiled the method for creating a daguerreotype. His plot had succeeded, and that moment became the birth of photography. This discovery had spread like wildfire and Daguerre was recognized for being the first to invent printed photography. And just like what Arago had promised months later, Bayard finally got to demonstrate his own method in the public. However, it was already too late. The daguerreotype was already popular, so the Academy didn't want to support or was even interested in his discovery. And in the pit of despair, Bayard had actually killed himself. Well, he printed a photo of him that depicts a suicide. And to be exact, his suicide. But actually, which said, The corpse which you see here was that of Monsieur Bayard, inventor of the process that has just been shown to you, and the poor wretch has drowned himself. Definitely this shook the public. And despite being pushed aside, still, Bayard continued exploring photography and became a founding member of the French Society of Photography. Over his long career, nothing became more remarkable than his first hoax photo, for it became the first example of showing creative expression and defined a distinct line that a photo wouldn't always be true. We have just discovered an amazing story about Hippolyte Bayard's first hoax photo. And now click this, and let's see the next amazing story.